Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. I am going to do something very dangerous and very stupid. I don't think I've ever seen a YouTuber do an open line segment. And, and what that means is, is uh, like on a talk radio program, every now and then when they run out of stuff to talk about, they'll do an open line segment where just, you know, fans of the program call in. Well, let's do something like that, because I've noticed a lot of YouTubers don't really interact with their audience, and that pisses me off. So I'm here to interact with you face-to-face, -face, uh, but don't get me banned, okay? This is very dangerous, very, very dangerous. we got to play nice, keep the cussing to a minimum, you know, I mean, you know, stuff like that. We definitely can't be out here... Uh, you know, just don't get me banned. Don't get me demonetized. Is that's all I ask out of you? Uh, you know, let's. Uh, we're all adults here, including me. Even though I don't act like it most of the time, <laughs> but just uh, you know, I'm a little nervous. But let's see what happens here. So I have Jess here behind me. Other hand, there she is, and uh, she is screening the. She's screening the people in the background lightly i mean you know so if you want to join in i'll be posting the link i don't know how to pin it one of my mods will probably pin this comment here and it has the link that you need to join in and we can put you in the waiting room behind you know like uh you know, like a waiting list right try to keep it uh maybe a minute or two each and we will you know get through you uh i i don't care what we talk about at all just as long as it's appropriate. And so Jess is kind of screening that. We've got to know what you're talking about. If she thinks you're kind of weird, probably not going to take it. But that's, you know, I have to do something to try to, to try to cover my ass here. So anyway, up first is the Cheese Man. Um, hello, Mr. Cheese Man. Hello. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you, Mr. Cheese Man. Hey, hello. I was not ready. I was sitting here. I was trying to figure out what I was going to say because you are an awesome person and I'm stuttering to talk to you right, right now. <laughs> You're good, man. Uh, um, what I you got? Gonna, well, I was going to ask. I have a 2002 C5 Corvette and the clutch is gone on it. It's been sitting a couple years and I'm wondering if I need to just do it by myself or take it to a shop man i don't you know that's newer than the stuff i typically mess with but uh, that's, that's true i know but you know the the c5s they have a transaxle right so your transmissions in the in the back so you, uh when you drop them they have a torque tube and i think you got to drop the whole oh, diff well, there you go hey. right. you're not that ugly man you don't you, you, you can have your, you. your camera on there you go <laughs> Well, you. You're very uh, handsome as well. It's <laughs> very pretty. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think you got to drop the torque tube and you got to pull the whole shebang out. Mm. I, I think that'd be a job for a lift, but I'm sure someone knows more than I do. Yeah, I looked it up. You got to drop the whole tube and the whole rear subframe, and that looks like an absolute pain. But I kind of wanted to do it myself just to get the experience. But I also don't want to have to pay five grand just to take it to a shop. For sure. You could always just pull the motor out and put in something more deserving. And that's true. Yeah. You think I should have it's been sitting like five years. You think I should go through the fluids like the lines or the pump and things like that? Or Yeah, I mean it would definitely never hurt to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it might be a good call, but putting a clutch in that, that's a that's pretty high level stuff to get started doing. But yeah. I, yeah, give it a shot. You know, you could always just stack up some cinder blocks and wood blocks and crawl under there, and I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. And uh, don't take my advice too seriously. But uh, all right, uh, all right, buddy. Well, let's okay. get on to the next one here. But I appreciate you coming fine. in. Thanks, I appreciate dude. you taking my call and talking to me, man. You are an awesome person. I'm sorry I'm stuttering. I'm just excited to be here. You're cool as hell. All, all good. Right? Have a good one. You too. All right. And see, that is what we're talking about here. Now, I am going to, I guess I have to kick him out of here like this, uh, like that. And that will clear a spot for someone else to come in. So the next one we have is Hobot Garage. 
Well, what does he want to talk about here? Oh, oh okay. We're going to add... Hello! Hello! Hello. Can you, can you hear me? I can hear you well. What's up, man? How you doing? I am very good. It is amazing to meet you. Well, it's good to meet you, too. I'm glad you glad you stopped by. I started watching you after I saw you on Junkyard Digs, and I have... I got my buddy on you, and we, we love your videos. Oh, that's great. I like to hear that, man. But... What you got? My question is, is uh, when I was 16, my grandpa gave me his truck. It's a 1989 C2500 OBS Chevy. And I drove it for a year and blew the head gaskets in it and bent the rods or something in it because I didn't know any better. Or something happened else to it that the motor didn't run right after I put head gaskets in it. I had several okay. people help me out trying to figure out what it was. I don't know what it was, but uh, right. I pulled the you motor out the of motor it. it. Well, I pulled the motor out of it, and I built a motor for it after I learned more. Uh, some 1102 cam. I think it's an 1102 Vortec heads, Edelbrock intake, Holly carburetor. What else do you think I should do to it? I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. Vortec heads and a cam. Did you put the right springs in for that cam? Uh, on Vor uh, Vortec, factory Vortec springs don't handle much. I was I was told I wouldn't have to do anything to the springs or push rods. Okay. Was that like uh, through Summit or a machine shop or something said that? or? Uh, the guy that I got the cam off of told me that because that's what he did. He okay. just had Vortec heads and a... Stock what's, walk. what's the lift on that cam? Do you know offhand? I, I don't I know don't. offhand. It's pretty small. I, I know it's small. Yeah. Uh, I did I ran a cam on on a Vortec headed small block that had like 460 lift one time in a race car because I was trying to cheat. Mm -hmm. And uh it, it floated the valves over 4500 rpm every single time. Like it the springs just couldn't keep up. But I know if you stay under, like I was pushing the edge. If you stay under that number, you're good. But, you know, the okay. other thing is these guys here at the chat, there's people here that know a lot more than me. So you better keep an eye on that because uh, somebody will probably tell you what to do. But a Vortec headed small block, I mean, you're looking at like what, nine yeah. and a half to one compression, little cam. That's yeah. uh, that's pretty badass. So the, the only problem I have with the heads is someone. I had broke a bolt off in the head, and someone drilled it out and put a Healy coil in for me. And they drilled too far into the water jacket. So when I went to put the Ooh. fill it up for coolant, now it leaked. Uh, of, yeah. Of the, you're kind of going potato. It might be me going potato. Bolt, I'm not sure. I filled it with a bunch of RTV, and it don't leak for the moment. But Hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me? I think I got the gist of it, but oh. yeah. But uh, I'm not sure. Really yeah, sure man. What well, that, that's uh, unless... weld it or it off get another one. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, buddy. Sure well, we'll have, move on to the I'm next sure one. More people thanks, talk to thanks you. for stopping in. Yeah, oh, thank yeah. you very much. Well, thanks for stopping in. All right. So, so far, so good. We haven't got banned yet. Uh, the FCC is not calling right now. Uh, uh, this is going well for the most part, I think. All right. So that me that'll leave one more spot open. You guys can uh, click that link and jump in line here. We have Crazy Mitch here. And I, I remember Jess told me he's got a question about an injector or something like that. Uh, and I don't know anything about that, but I'll give it a shot. What's up? Hey, buddy. Uh, you love your channel. Uh, been watching you again since, uh, like, the last guy uh, through uh, Junkyard. Uh -huh. um, I got a 2002 GMC Envoy. It's got the inline six. Um, come on, man. I'm a grandpa. I drive a sled. <laughs> but it's got a, uh, a misfire detected cylinder six. The code is P0306. So, um, the guy said he, he's put 
just a, dumped a ton of work into this thing, ton of parts. Um, and when he when he came up with the injectors, uh, like he's he's done the uh, the plugs, the coil packs, uh, O2 sensors, blah 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 blah. Looking tracing down what this issue was, and it still came up with this, this code. Okay. I've heard I've heard it run. It sounds like it's running on all six cylinders. So, if I pull the injector wires off and just spray them with like WD forty, what would be the chance of it just being a uh, dirty injector wire? Well, it could be. You could. I would imagine you could ohm out that wire in the harness, right, and, and see if it's uh, if it has good continuity. Uh, you know, like which is with a multimeter, you could ohm out that injector wire. And again, I, I don't know anything about the stuff, but just from an electrical point of view, you could see if, if you have a weird amount of resistance in that wire, it would tell you there's a break or a uh, yeah, voltage drop test. Somebody just mentioned that, uh, something like that. Just see if it looks different than the other five, uh, other, what's the spark plug look like though? Have you pulled it out after it's ran? No, I've, I've had it, uh, out to, to pull a shot the the plugs out yet okay uh i mean it would be because if you're just getting a misfire it might be worth seeing i mean if it's a if you look at the plug and it's covered in fuel you know that would kind of tell you it's the other way you know it'd be an easy way just to verify that uh yeah other than that uh you could always just uh you know put a carburetor on it uh you know just, just <laughs> come, come on, man. I we're we're paying almost eight bucks a, a gallon here. Are you in Canada? Yeah. Is that, oh, Vancouver Island. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah, the eight eight. I've heard that fuel is just crazy up there. Uh, I don't. I um, really don't understand why. But we we just went to a, a buck eighty a liter, which is uh, over. It, it it's almost seven bucks a, a gallon. Wow, that is just by, wild. By summer, we will probably be over two bucks a liter, which would be almost ten bucks a gallon. Damn, that is uh, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get if, what you're if, coming if, from. If I could get get away with doing a, a carb, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, you got some good people here in the comments. That's 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 the beauty of this, right? We have about a thousand people here that could give you some ideas. Uh, you know, there, swap the injector to another cylinder and see if it does it on that one. That'd be easy to do. And that would tell you if it's the injector. Uh, that'd be pretty smart, actually. See, I could just read their comments and then I can look smart. Uh, but, <laughs> but, hey, well, hey, buddy, man. what's up? I've, I've, I've watched almost all of your videos, even some of the older ones. And man, you are super smart with some of the stuff you've done. Yeah, it, it's been s box machines but <laughs> you know what you know what man my, my daily driver is, is an s box and uh i wish it was as cool as as the stuff that you build yeah i mean yeah it i the you know, the old stuff is so simple though you know to me i mean i guess i don't i don't feel smart when i get something running that has points in a carburetor because you you take a hammer to it and but then it kind of works, you know, <laughs> like it, usually my, my very, my very first car uh, at 16 was a 16 year old 1967. God, I just date, dated myself. Uh, <laughs> 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, I, nice. I come from, from the era of carbs. That's as simple as it gets too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah well, All my, right, my daily driver, my daily driver is still a pancake. I drive a Subaru. Uh, that's an acceptable import. A Subaru is an acceptable Japanese car, I think. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, thanks, Tom. Right. You betcha. Have, Have a good, good one, buddy. man. Hey, real quick. Yeah. Um, they're wondering if you can drop the link to join again. And also, there's a few people stuck on YouTube that weren't able to join. Do you know anything about that? No, you got to go to StreamYard to join. Uh, okay. So you have to click this link. And you'll go to your browser, and then you can go to StreamYard, and then you can join in. Uh, unfortunately, we can only have 10 people at a time in the background because I only pay for the premium StreamYard, not the super premium StreamYard. And, uh, 
yeah, so it, unfortunately, that's the uh, we were kind of otherwise I have to pay like five hundred dollars a year for this. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So, all right, so we got Richard next. All right, Richard, here you go. What's up, buddy? Richard, can you hear me? Richard. 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 <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll skip Richard, but I'm going to leave him in here. All right, we'll go to Steve. More power. Steve, are you here? He's Steve is muted. Steve, you got to turn on your uh, your mic. So we'll skip you. Uh, I'll leave you here for a second. Paul. Dude. Hello. How you doing? All right. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm great. Man, I got starter issues. Help me out. What's I've been doing? working on this thing a month. Don't hate me. It's a Mopar. Well, well. <laughs> all right. So you're out of the gate. I already, I mean, I kind of liked you at first and now a little less, but it's okay. Now a little less. <laughs> I hear you. This thing was so cheap. I couldn't pass it up and I did a buddy a favor. So I bought, I got a brand new starter. Okay. I got brand new ignition, brand new battery, brand new wires. You name it. I've replaced it. I can jump it across. I can get it to turn over. But when it comes to turning that key on, all it does is click. I got good ground, brand new starter. What 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 kind of uh, car is it? Truck? It's a truck. It's a it's a D one fifty, Dodge. What, what year? Eighty six. Okay. Uh, Three sixty. Three sixty. Do those have two starter solenoids? Uh, I you know one down on the starter and one on the fender well. Or... No, it's just got the one on the starter. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, if you're uh, if you're if you're jumping the solenoid and it's cranking, your solenoid's good. Um, maybe you're not getting enough current down to the the crank wire somehow. It. What happens if you uh, if you if you could like trace that wire up wherever it goes? You know, the crank wire on the solenoid. If you trace that up. And then hit that with voltage and see what happens. It could be the key, you know, or something like that. But it's just not putting out enough juice for it. So it's not getting something somewhere, and I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I've been working on this know. thing for a month, and it'll, like I said, I can jump across and it'll turn over that way. And I, I thought, well, it's got to be, it's got to be in the ignition. So I pulled the steering wheel, pulled all that, oh my god, ignition out of there, and got brand new ignition for it. I just put that in last night, and now it does the same doggone thing. It just click, 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 nothing. Boy, it, I don't know. You might, I mean, it, yeah, because if, if it's cranking when you're jumping the solenoid, the, somebody said a relay is on the fire. Yeah, I, I just good. put it's a brand new relay. Yeah, I just put it in. Yeah, it's just a starter uh, relay. Ballast resistor? I don't think it would be that either. Uh, I thought about that too, and that that's the about the only thing I haven't replaced is the ballast resistor. I guess you could, but I don't think there's, I don't think that has anything to do with the, with the crank trigger on would, the solenoid. Now I did replace recently some um, fusible links. Those wouldn't have anything to do with it, would they? Mm, yeah, they they would. Uh, but it's clicking, so it's trying to send something down. It's there, trying. Right? So yes. I bet you you got a bad wire or or something somewhere that's just not letting enough juice in there. You know, it doesn't have enough power to actually pull that solenoid in. Okay. Uh, maybe I don't know. I mean, I it's not very specific, but it might be worth a shot. That's what I guess. That's what I'll go check. I mean, I've I've got the tester out and I'm testing everything, and I've got power everywhere. So, and I just went out there and I just, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try the, 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 the ground wire make the, the main ground wire just to make sure I'm getting a good ground. And it, I hooked it back up to another spot, which is, is good and nothing sure. still. So I'll just keep trying, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's all you can do, buddy. All right, all right. Have a good one. You too, buddy. Take care. Later. All right, and uh, that's another one down. We're still alive. That's so amazing. Richard couldn't hear you. 
Richard couldn't hear me. He didn't hear you. I think everyone else can hear me. I, I don't really know. And also, guys, uh, yeah, I can't put a hot link in the chat for some reason. You just have to copy and paste it into your browser. I don't know why that uh, doesn't work. But I'll post it up again here. But uh, yeah, we got we got a full lineup here, so let's uh, let's get uh, Roy in here. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Great, man. Hey, love your channel. Awesome. I like the content you do. I I really enjoy that you get your son out there and help you. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I mean, JD likes the stuff, you know, and uh, he'll be uh, he'll be writing his own checks by the time he's an adult. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's smart. Hey, question for you. I know you like the Pontiacs and stuff, but when are you going to find a Camaro? A Camaro? Yeah. Uh, man, I can't afford a Camaro. I mean, I guess I could get a second gen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like third gens, but I would probably do a second gen. I've been kind of looking for one to put that Pontiac 350 in. I thought that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm restoring a third gen right now. Oh, third gen? Yeah. Oh, year? 86. Oh, okay. Those are better than the early, early ones. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, those cars are coming up. I mean, you know, I, they're kind of, I don't know, a little underrated, but but they, they're going to have their day soon. Yeah, they're they're starting to go really high, like Barrett Jackson and all that now. Yes, they are. So, which is just crazy to me, but it it, it is. It's wild. And places make cars untouchable for us. They do. They really do. It's probably one of the worst things that's ever happened <laughs> to the hobby, honestly. Yeah. So, hey, keep up the good work, man. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. All right, man. Have a good night. You too. All right. Well, he was a nice one. All right. And now he's kicked out. Room for someone else now. Grand Pito. Vic. Grand, Grand Pito? I don't know. Right. Hello. And now he's kicked out. Room for someone else now. Okay. Grand Pito. Uh, hey, Vic, can you... uh? Can you uh, turn your volume oh, down? Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Oh, uh, I can't hear you for some reason. All right, can you hear uh, me now? Come on. Can you hear me now? Hey, what's going on, brother? I can't hear All you right. for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Uh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to personally thank you, man. You, uh, that video you did with the, uh, you want to be a YouTuber? Yeah. I watched that one and it, uh, it resonated me really big, brother. Wow. So, uh, well, I, appreciate I started it, doing buddy. videos, me and my grandkids and stuff, work on a car. I'm doing a 03 Crown Big swap with an LS36 L90 swap. Yeah. But I've been watching you for a long time, brother. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. Good luck on that. Swap. Uh, good luck, buddy. I'm having to listen off my TV while I talk to you here because I can't hear you on my phone for some reason. Yeah, it's pretty loud here. So I got to let you go, man. You know, Let's sometimes, you know. No. Uh, so he's, somebody said the reason some people can't hear is because they're streaming the live while they're in the stream. So oh, if they're using their phone. Yeah, yeah. So if they're using their phone to do both, that is going to be tough. So, like, if you guys are uh if you're in you got to close the live while you're here and you'll be able to see me and, and everything just like normal uh when you click on it. i know not everybody knows what stream yards about so i mean that's fine it's just if you're gonna come on you gotta you have to we can't play the live with it because there's a delay so with that delay you end up with a really bad echo and uh it's just tough to listen to so we got uh brody next Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing, man? Good, you? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I was just going to talk to you for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm restoring a 57 Chevy pickup from a high school. First oh, truck cool. I'll ever drive. Is yeah. that the one in uh, in your profile, in your picture here? Oh, yeah. I figure I put it in there so you can see it. Very cool. Thank you. Is it lowered? Yeah, it's. Uh, it was originally a six-cylinder truck. Uh, three on the tree, three quarter ton, and it was my grandma's. Uh, but over the years, that past three years, I've been restoring it. I bought a six hundred dollar uh, C notched uh, half ton frame, fifty six frame, threw it underneath it, so it's a little lowered. 
Yeah, that's a good deal though. I mean, to get that get that three quarter ton stuff out of there. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's uh, got a three hundred seven in it, little cam turbo three fifty. Nothing special, just to get her driving. That's good enough though. How, how old are you? Uh, I'm fifteen. Okay. If, yeah, man, you're 15. You're gonna have a V8 powered rear wheel drive cool truck. I mean that that's okay. You don't need a that's that you're doing it right is what I'm saying. I mean you're doing it perfect. You know oh, you're getting you. it running and driving, and you're gonna be cool as hell driving around in your truck while everybody else. Well, I mean people your age they're probably on you know TikTok or whatever. But but you know uh, uh, you know maybe they're playing Fortnite. I don't know, but. Either that, or they're dreaming about uh, dreaming about their you know gazillion horsepower, whatever. Oh and, yeah, you know you got something real here. That's cool. Yeah, kind of nice Great. to see it. Uh, been full restoration too, like paint job, everything. That's good, man. I I I like it. I like to see that. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of old guys say, "Oh, kids don't want to do anything these days." You know, and that's just not right. Oh, it's yeah. not true. So they're hard they're still- to find. Like, for sure you know, finding a kid was, that'll do it i was uh when i was your age i was in the same boat i was the only one of my friends that wanted anything to do with old cars you know uh same deal but yeah uh, you know you you you'll come to find a, a community of people eventually oh yeah yeah you're doing the right thing bud you keep at it oh well, thank you all right man have a good one all right you too all right. Well, that was good to hear. I like hearing about, you know, not just young people being in the hobby, but it's not a Honda Civic and it's not a Fortnite or a Tic Tac, you know, what I'm talking about. so, you know, it, it's it, he's building a real truck that he can drive. He's going to be cool as hell, man. He's going to be pulling all kinds of tail with that thing, guaranteed. Anyway, let's uh, let's add Grave to the stage. What's up, man? Oh, oh! I don't got no audio from your end, man. Uh, Hi, uh, how about now? There you are. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, I love what you do. Um, I've been a fan ever since uh, Kevin uploaded the Silver Dollar, and mm-hmm. ever since I was able to um, become a member, I have love what you do. And I just had a couple questions because I have a old uh, three hundred five small block. Yeah. That uh. I want to get up and running and maybe put into my uh, 85 Chevy square that I have uh, just to get it up and running out of storage so that way I have something for when I'm uh, able to drive. So I was just wondering uh, what your input would be to just start on that. Well, where to start? Okay, so the truck doesn't have a motor now? Uh, it does, but I don't know what all. It's a diesel. I don't know anything about them. So okay, so it's a six two. Uh, yeah. All right. So that that is going to make things a little more difficult. Yeah, uh, and my dad tore that engine apart. I have no idea what to do. What I need. What to do with that? So I'm just going to put a three hundred five in it just so I have something to drive. Uh, at I mean, some that's point. A, that six two is a boat anchor anyway. I mean, really, yeah. just throw throw that thing right in the ocean, but. uh yeah, no, the three hundred five. Uh, so it's a complete motor, right? Uh, yeah. I just I have another three uh three fifty that just uh doesn't have the front accessories on it and a distributor. So I have two of them. I just don't know where to start. Uh, both spin freely. Uh, I I just know that they've been sitting in my garage for a couple of years. I, I've always wanted to get one running, but I never had. An idea where to start. Well, okay. So if they have a distributor in them or anything like that, what you you could do to see if they'll even pop off, just hang a starter on the thing, uh, uh-huh. and and it could sit on the floor, just you know, hold it up with an engine hoist or something, so it doesn't fall over. But, yeah. You know, jump that starter, make sure it cranks yeah. good, uh, and then you could just spray a little brake clean in the car or down the intake, even if it doesn't have it. And uh-huh. and see if it'll pop off, and then if it if it'll run a little bit on brake clean, that's you know, and I put just, it in something. And and I just know that the one has an ACI, but mm-hmm. I I've always I've been trying to uh, put the cap back on because I clean the road and everything. Uh, but I whenever I try and put it back on, it just doesn't want to go on. I just don't know 
uh, what the best way to put get a cap on and make sure that the plugs are good and everything as well. So the uh, cap there, it has a little square peg. If you turn yeah. the cap upside down, there's a square peg. And then in the mm -hmm. distributor, there's a cutout for that. So oh, yeah. Try to, try to line Actually, that up. And yeah, and then you can twist it a little and rock it around yeah. and and then just push your uh, quick screws, you know, lock yeah. them down. As far as plugs go, I mean, you can yank them, see what they look like. You, you don't want to yeah. see them burn to a crisp, you know. You don't want to see them. Yeah, I've, I've done that. They look okay for something that's been sitting for, in the back of the garage for two years. Good enough. I say throw it in yeah. the truck and make it run. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try. But... Well, you got this, man. It's as easy as can be. Take yeah. those motor mounts out of that diesel. To unbolt your bell housing bolts, unbolt the torque yeah. converter. Throw it away into the ocean, yes. and then, yeah. and then you just you, the three hundred five uses the same engine mount as that diesel. Yeah, kind of, so. uh, most GM engines are pretty much the same. They'll throw, go right yeah. in anything. Yep, drop so. it right in. The only problem you're gonna have uh, have an issue with actually is obviously the uh, fuel the, system. The fuel system, yes. Uh, so your your fuel tank is diesel and it's full of yeah. diesel probably. Uh, you, but the good thing about diesel is it doesn't attract water and it won't rust. So you could yeah. drop that tank, clean it out really, really good. Yeah. Uh, and put I it know, back. I know one is a plastic tank and I, the other one is a metal. I don't know how much fuel is in it because uh, it's just been sitting for a couple of years and I want to get it back up on the road and run in again. Yeah. So. Well. But, uh, good luck with that, buddy. Uh, and and you got this. It's as easy. I mean, it's a small block Chevy. Oh, yeah. and you'll need a you will need a coil wire because the diesel doesn't have spark. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you can get that. Just take that right out of your fuse box. Um, the the okay. there's an ignition accessory there. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's 15 amp. It's it's enough to run an HEI. Just oh, run yeah. a wire right up there, and you're good to go. Well, thanks for everything. Uh, keep up good work. I love you. Uh, and seeing you with uh, JD reminds me a lot of uh, me and my dad. So keep it up. And good, thanks man. again for having me on. Oh, you bet, man. Have a good night. You too. Thanks. Like to hear that. Another kid out there figuring it out the right way. All right, we got Diesel Lives Matter. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. How you doing, man? Not bad. Hey, I uh, started listening to you once uh, No Nonsense No Help featured you on the show there. Okay, but, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, I did want to show you my, my winch truck, and it's really dark here, but <laughs> this I thing is just... Super, super handy to pick anything up. So I, I kind of thought you should. It'd be nice to put something like this on your old Dodge there. Yeah, that's smart. I I built this thing for fifteen hundred bucks with the uh, with the truck. So <laughs> to uh, uh, Ford Gasser, I got had no rear axle, so the axle's off of a F four fifty. Oh my so. god. <laughs> But, uh, That's crazy. Thought, I don't know if this is your cup of tea, but I wanted to have this project idea I got from somebody else. So I got this 377P here, with the L10 Cummins, and the frame is ruined, but the motor runs and the truck's kind of okay. But I have that F450 chassis, and I heard of people doing this, throwing on a Peterbilt cabin on these chassis. So I kind of, I'm going to go back and read the chat. I wonder, I got this F450 chassis here. I wonder if anybody thought that'd be a good idea, a good for idea for a video. Put a Pete on that? That'd yeah. Cool as it, hell. And uh, yeah, it, it, it all fits. Uh, there's this guy, uh, Detroit Good Garage, YouTube. He was, he was just talking about it. He's doing something else, but he was just talking about it. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea for a video and stuff like that. Very cool. Yeah. So. All right, man. Well, uh, I'm going to move on to the next one, but I, I like that idea. You should definitely follow through with that. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Have a good night. Later. Have a good one. All right. Well, that went well.
Went very well. Somebody asked to wave for you to wave, Jess. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh hey we got 1183 people in here that is pretty cool uh, i'm gonna paste the link again just in case and next up is nicholas brady how you doing sir how you doing what's up man oh i'm doing good I, i'm gonna try and make this short i know you got a lot of people and again to piggyback off the last several teen people I can't thank you enough for being able to take the time to, to talk to some of your YouTube subscribers. It just speaks volumes about who you are. I mean, we kind of know from watching you every week. I mean, I'm, I'm hitting that refresh on the YouTube about every 10 seconds, seeing if you got something coming. You're, <laughs> let's just say you got a bunch of boys in lower Michigan that love you. Oh, right on, man. Well, I appreciate it. I have a just a brief question, if you wouldn't mind me picking your brain. Me. I don't know if you've ever owned a... Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. It's dark up here in Michigan right now. I got a uh, 99 Tahoe OBS lifted. And I'm not sure if you ever had a GMT 400 platform, but it's had a notorious squishy break. They've always had them. I did a, uh, a master, a booster, uh, all rear drums and hardware, all front calipers, hardware, the whole nine yards, everything but the lines and the rubber lines were replaced as well. The rear axle's new. I kind of shred through a few of those on on alleged accident <laughs> but, um, i have a when i did the break rubber lines and i took the rubber line off i pulled the the rubber line off and it was not dripping fluid but it gets fluid when i bleed it so it's i'm kind of thinking there's a bend but i'm also worried that it's the abs pump because that's where the line comes from yeah yeah uh i've heard those that you got people in the chat right now say an abs module and yeah i'm worried about it <laughs> Is there a way you can get rid of that? Can you just yeah. put in a junction block and just get, buy, get rid of it totally? Yeah, people have, but it works. And see, when I bought this truck, it was five years ago and it was bone stock for $1,000. It was stuck in four low and I drove it five miles in four low at five miles an hour. So I didn't roach it. Whoa. And put a, I put a $100 shift encoder motor on the transfer case and the rest is history. Lift The lift is done. Everything's different, but the frame, it's got a crate trans, crate engine. Axles are switched from 342s to 373s, limited slip front and rear. I mean, all kinds of dumb Chinesium lights going on in here. I put nice. cab lights on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I got cab lights on it too. But I, it's a, it's been a, a bit of a gremlin, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Your, your channel, you know, Dalton, your channel is uh, kind of the reason why I still got her because every time I want to get rid of her, you know, my, my kid kind of looks at me the same way yours looks at you every time you want to do something silly. So, yeah, I yeah. appreciate you. He did that to me. J JD did that to me with this Thunderbird I just got done working on, the 66 T-Bird. Oh, this yeah. This car absolutely driven me insane for the last week because it's a nightmare to do anything on. But he loves it. So I guess I can't get rid of it. So no, now, I it, it, <laughs> You know, your Facebook post, I because I've seen it there before I've seen any kind of status updates on YouTube. I've seen you hit kind of the short follow-through of what you had going on. And I agree with your post. My my ex's uh, father father had a 66, and a lot of people think it was ugly. But when I was, I was probably 16 in that car, I thought it was the coolest dang thing in the world. It's just underappreciated. It may be anemic, but it's, it's real cool, and I'm sure you're going to fix the anemic part. Oh um, man, it runs pretty strong, man. I mean, it, it, it lays some rubber. It's got that I bet it does. 390, 320 horse, 420 foot pounds. It, it's not too bad, and plenty of weight reduction. Plenty of that. Well, I know. I don't want to be too selfish. I appreciate you talking to me, and as much as I'd love to stay here and talk all night, you got a bunch of people waiting for you. And again, thank you and Jess and JD. You guys are awesome. I'll be following every week. And if you guys are ever in Michigan and need help with a revival, I'm your guy. I'd be more than happy for a free set of hands. I Careful really appreciate you, you guys. Hey, I, I'll beg for it. You guys are the best. <laughs> you don't, they don't make them like they used to anymore, sir. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you. You have a good night. Hey, you too. All right. And kicked. Goodbye. No, great guy there for sure. We've got Ben Roland up here. Rowland? Roland? I don't know. I recognize him a lot. He's a member. Uh, I don't know. There we are. Hello, Ben. He's got the hoodie on. What up, Dalton? 
How you doing? Not too bad. I figured it's hopping. First time I've. I'm... What? Hmm. I've never talked to you face to face, but uh, messenger, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, no, I know I you, you sent those. Uh, you sent those ratchet wrenches in, right? Yeah. How do you like those? They're pretty good. They're not bad. I mean, you know, I mean, they're uh, no, they're pretty good for Amazon. They're better than those Timu ones. <laughs> I saw the team up stuff. I'm like, really, Dalton? But hey, they're paying you, so why not? Exactly. exactly. That's all it is. is a money grab. I'll admit to that. But <laughs> got to make it where you can. Well, what do you got, uh, man? Yeah, What's no, up? Not much. Just want to hop and say hi. I figured you'd kind of recognize me. I am uh, got a free car the other day. It's uh, oh. you're gonna laugh. It's a uh, O2 Dodge Intrepid. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> But this yeah. is the cleanest, best running Intrepid I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that, that's kind of like saying it's the floatiest turd in the bowl. But uh, okay, it's pretty clean. One hundred twenty thousand miles, one owner, special ordered for her. Nice. But yeah, no, I just want to hop in and say hey. Um, if I lived closer, you know, you know how hard it is to find somebody willing to send alcohol to a PO box. <laughs> to what? Your to send alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you, so you've been trying to send beer to me, right? <laughs> I've been trying to send Twisted Tea. I've been trying to send Bush Light. I'm just like, Jesus fuck. Or, sorry. Jesus criminy. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Uh, I just want to hop well, in and say, hey, you know, face to face. You know, maybe if I'm over down there someday, we can have a bonfire and drink some beers. Hit me up. Or hell, if you're ever up here in Washington, I know you've probably never... Be up here, but I'm sure Jesse and JD would love the area. I mean, you've got mountains and lakes, and I want to get up there one of these days. You know, once time allows, I definitely want to go up to the northwest. Oh god, it's so beautiful! But I mean, I'm All looking right. at snow in the mountains right now. It's just gorgeous. But yeah, no, I've got a my '74 Beetle. I'm getting running it sat for 35 years or something like that. I just threw a can of carb clean and a plug that I didn't runs great. Nice. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, hey, you have a good night or day too, still man. over there. <laughs> day ish, night, whatever. Yeah. All right, man. See ya. Peace. Okay. Well, that's Mr. Ben rocking the hoodie, which you can find at polebarnmerch.com. Mike. What's up, Dalton? You have a marvelous mustache. Well, thank you. The army needs I'm... it. That's why I have it. <laughs> Excellent. That's approved facial hair? Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> What's up, man? Well, I wanted to say thank you for getting me off my ass on... I'm sorry for the cursing. Um, I've been having the suburban project I've had for the past 10 years. I just been getting pushed on the back burner because I've always had the idea of doing it right the first time, so I ain't got to do it again. Right. But I've always heard people like on Roadkill saying, don't get it right, get it running. But then I always thought, these are the guys that have, you know, sponsors like Summit, just giving them parts. Yeah. What do they really know? Until I found your channel, the Holy Goat, I was like, well, holy crap, like, if this guy can get this turd that was buried in the desert on the road again... I can surely get an 88 Suburban that just needs a motor and a transmission back on the road. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's like a, it's a case of beer job, probably. Yeah. You know, two sure. days, one buddy, two cases of beer, probably. But, you know, yeah. Well, how's it going? I mean, what are you doing with it? 350 or? I was thinking about just stabbing another TBI motor back in it. Uh, if you got everything to do it, no, uh, I mean, no reason not to. Uh, My only issue is I'm stationed in Georgia and the truck's Mm -hmm. back in Mississippi. That makes that difficult, doesn't it? (laughs) I only get about two weeks of leave every time. Yep. So you got to spend time with family, and then you got to spend time fixing shit family broke. (laughs) Yeah. And then you're not stuck with time and you stuff your own stuff. Yeah. Well, how much, uh, what are you, uh, you doing Army uh, forever? Are you getting out in a couple years, or what, what do you got going on there? Well, this is my second one, so I've got another two years on this, and I'm honestly thinking about getting out because the damn trucks we're using now are garbage. Yeah. 
Yeah, they have so many sensors. If you blow on, if you sneeze on them, they break. Yeah. Oh man, that doesn't sound very uh, defensive. <laughs> no, like right now we're doing um, engine harness. You got to pull the radiator out to do. No kidding. Yeah, hood, oh. radiator, AC condenser, everything has to come off. Oh, that's rough. What are they? Uh, what's the engine in those? Six six Duramax. Okay. Well, that's horrible. Uh, <laughs> I think the six fives are better. Yeah, I mean they didn't die. That's for sure. Yeah, they uh, didn't have the fault. What is it? The uh, injectors that stick in them, and you got to break them off in the head. Yeah. Which yeah. is why we're replacing a motor in a truck. <laughs> because of injectors. God. Brand new motor too. Oh, yep. Yeah. That sounds about right, though. It sounds a. So it's like Uncle Sam spending our money well, so that's good. <laughs> well, the truck I'm working on started off as just the transmission harness, which took us two weeks to remove it. Oh. And uh, we had an incident with the batteries where you hooked it up backwards for just touching it, and there was no surge protector in it, so it fried the second harness. Oh, no. Oh, so no. We spent the past three days trying to remove it oh. without pulling the radiator. Are they still 24-volt systems? Yes. It is. Wow. That's crazy, man. Exactly. Well, uh, good luck, and uh, thanks for your uh, service, and uh, thanks for suffering on all those Hey, man, computers. thanks for your service, man. You, when I'm getting bored in the office and pissed off the trucks, I'm going to watch your shit. But perfect. That's exactly what you should do. <laughs> I'll go watch the van video and watch you beat the hell out of the floors. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stress relief, though, actually. It is. You know? It's fun watching other people suffer. <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks. <laughs> no, you're right, though. You, you are right. But, uh, well, I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, have a good night, and take it easy. All right. Take it easy, man. God bless. Later. All right. Oh, hey. Um, can you remind people, like, in the regular co – hold on. People on the regular comments, you have to message me so that you can get on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got some great comments lined up for questions, but... Okay. We cannot see. Okay, well, yeah, so you have to... Uh, when you join the chat, you know, if you guys are sitting there now, you got to go to the private chat, and there's only 10 people. So, oh, okay. you know, the, you can only see our line here. Uh, so we only have 10 people here. So these 10 people have messaged you on the private chat within StreamYard. And, and that just, yeah, we're doing that just to screen the people that are here. So we work through them as quick as we can here. But, you know, I don't want to, I want to make sure everybody gets their time too. Jeremy, how you doing? All right, Dalton. How about you, sir? I'm doing well. What's up? Well, I've got a couple of projects. Uh, one of them is a 1977 Dodge B300. Um, having a lot of trouble get, trying to even get the silly thing running. Uh -huh. And the other one is an 85 Ford, Econo, uh, Ford E150 with the inline six. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, but, that's a 300. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ju that was just before the... Uh, computer on uh, you know all the fuel injection and stuff thank god it's carbureted <laughs> yeah yeah well what's the uh, trouble you're having with that dodge well the dodge um like uh the previous guy with the 86 uh dodge well i've thrown basically the uh the whole parts cannon at it but mainly because it's been sitting for years and uh now I've gotten to the point where the car has been rebuilt. The ignition system is all new except for the distributor and the ballast resistor. And the thing will just sit there and crank, 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 crank all day long. It might uh, cough a little bit. Yeah. I'm getting fuel to it. I'm, I'm spraying uh, brake clean into it like it's, uh, like it's going out of style. Yeah. So, Do you know your timings, right? Uh, uh, the timing was never, never messed with mm -hmm. as far as I know. It kind of sounds like maybe it's jumped time. Maybe I mean you got you have good spark at the plug. Sure do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what about a timing chain or you know something is I don't know. It could be something bigger. You know. Uh, I'm hoping I hate not. To say that, but 
Well, it's really an uh, it's really a, a Class C uh, motorhome, so it doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it. So, oh, okay, yeah, and I think they were done with the nylon cam gear by then. Maybe not, but uh, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. Whenever I whenever I got something that just isn't acting right, you know, I don't know. Uh, but you said it does try to cough and start eventually. It does. Um, bef- uh, here's the here's the strange thing. Um, before I replaced the cap rotor and had the carburetor rebuilt, um, I managed to get it to start for a few seconds. You know, only if I floored it. Oh, okay. That sounds like a carburetor, uh, like it's flooding, but uh, or yeah. uh, is your. Uh, here's the strange thing. The uh, yeah. the I the the air fuel mixture screws were uh, cranked all the way in and even uh, cranked down torqued before I even got to it. Oh yeah, they you can't do that. It it uh that that flattens that air bleed. Of course, if you had the car rebuilt, it would have been replaced. So uh, that'd be all right. Hmm. Yeah, I checked your firing order. I check your. I pop the cap off and crank it. And make sure you see that rotor spinning. Yeah, like not jittery, you know, like, uh, I don't know, might be worth a, a look, a look there, but other than that, yeah, uh, who knows? <laughs> compression right. check, I mean, you know, maybe a compression check, yeah, those are things that are um, in the works, yeah, in a motorhome, that's not going to be easy to do. That's <laughs> No, but um, my plan for this motorhome is, uh, since the thing is leaking, I'll just rip the motorhome part off. And uh, I've already bought uh, a, a 2000 uh, Ford cab, you know, the, the, just the cab itself. I'm going to graph that on there. It's going to be a uh, tribute to my grandpa. Oh, okay. There you go. But anyway, the 85 Ford, well, here's a, here's a mystery for you. I was told that uh, when I bought it for 500 bucks, that the transmission was bad. But when I pulled the trans- transmission dipstick, the fluid is absolutely perfect pink. Yeah. Is and, pink? well, the perfect red, you know, the perfect oh, transmission. Okay. Color. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, sometimes, I, I, sometimes my eyes blinding me on colors. But anyway, pull the oil dipstick, it's bone dry. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, well, uh, it sounds like you got uh, got some oil consumption issues, maybe, or leaks, but uh, well, get, her to, get her to run and see what happens. I mean, you know, people park things for the wrong reason all the time. Definitely. But, um, that Ford, uh, I, I know, has been sending for at least 10 years, according to the license plate that it had. No, oh, damn. Yeah. Well, all right, buddy. Well, good luck with your projects. Uh, we better keep them moving here. We got a full, a full. Of course. Park. And by the way, um, just a side note: I started uh, teaching my eight-year-old son the same way you do your son. Throw tools at him? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, he actually said, "Daddy, uh, I want to take this wheel off." Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Well, that's the only way to get him started. Well, have a good night, man. Take it easy, Jeremy. All right, you too. Later. All right. All right, who's this? Joseph. 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 Jospa. <laughs> hey, it's Joseph. How's it going, man? Hey, how you doing? Doing all right, doing all right. I uh, wanted to ask you a few questions real quick. Uh, sure. By the way, Discover the Channel just happened to stumble upon it and basically binge-watched every video from there on out. Love, it. Love the content, oh. man. Cool, thanks, uh, man. Wanted to ask you though, so are you planning on going down to North Carolina anytime soon? Anytime soon? No. Uh, anytime but in general. Anytime? Maybe. Because <laughs> uh, my grandpa has a couple of six, uh, actually four 67 Chevelle, Chevelle Impalas uh, that he needs to get rid of. Thought you'd be uh, interested in those possibly. Chevelles and Impalas? Or? Uh, Two door Impalas. Okay. Okay. Big cars then. Big uh, old boats, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, rusty. Uh, they're rusty, but I sent a message I, on a uh, Instagram if you're interested in those. Okay, well I'll look for it. Uh, I mean, I'm pro- right now. I'm still working full time, although I've uh, kind of been working part time without their permission. But 
But <laughs> so <laughs> if I get fired soon, yeah, uh, I'll be right down. But gotcha, uh, cool. Uh, but yeah, probably towards the end of this year, I'll probably go full time YouTube, and I'll have time to do that kind of. I want to do that. I really do. I love traveling, and I and I want to get out to the coast there. It'd be nice. I've never been out there, so it's nice. No, it's quiet out here for the most part, except yeah. the drivers are terrible. Be careful. <laughs> drivers, yeah, I mean, they're pretty bad everywhere. I think. Yeah, that's fair. That's but, fair. All right. Uh, buddy. I want to also cool. ask you though. Uh, I got a 1988 Nissan 200 that I rebuilt the motor to uh, outside on a wooden pallet and. Got the motor in almost about running now and i gotta do some rust repair i bought a bunch of metal sheets i'm running the proper way of course by tapper screwing them in and uh once i get them tap screwed in it's either i can tack weld them i don't have a welder though so i was wondering what would be a good way to seal that off so it wouldn't get water into the the uh, cab. uh so panel bond if you clean panel bond yeah so if you clean the surfaces really really well make sure all the rust just cut out of course of uh, course and then you can use panel bond or any kind of like uh, weather resistant two part epoxy will be waterproof and like new cars. A lot of new cars are glued together with the stuff. Like it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it, it still works. holds. It holds. I, it's stupid strong. It's I, I work with strong. the stuff every day. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, and uh, man, it. it if you use actual panel bond, which is expensive, so you can find an alternative, but uh, you glue that together, it will never come apart. <laughs> so perfect. That's what I need. <laughs> yeah. No, it, and it's uh, weather resistant. It's honestly better than a rust a lot of times. Me and my dad have used JB Weld before, uh, and it has worked pretty good. But you know, like, right. you buy the, the big tubes, you mix them together, and if you're not doing like a big area, it works pretty good i just gotta cut out basically all the pinch wells and there's a massive hole in one section i was just gonna but all those are hidden by trim pieces i was gonna cover it up with a sheet metal and then also i was gonna do a thing where i put a backing piece of metal with a short hair carbon fiber paste and the bondo over that yeah i mean that sounds but, like a decent repair man really i think you're cool doing all right that. cool man thanks so much you bet have a good night hey good to meet you man have a good one yeah all right Oh, Matt. Hey. Hi. Hey, what's going on, buddy? You're in. Yeah, cool, man. Hey, how you I'm doing? Glad I am. My, my little dog's barking. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're good, man. Sorry. She's, she heard puppy. something. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a little yeah. doggy. Yeah, my little doggy, yeah. Uh, hey, I, I'm glad I'm on, man. I, I love your show. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. I, I've been... Oh. I've been watched them, oh. watched them all, yeah, over and over, man. I, I like it, yeah. Uh, cool. I've got a question about a 2011 Dodge Avenger. Oh God. Well, uh, I'll try. And, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it, it's kind of a, it's a electrical issue. Uh, so you know, sometimes I can drive <laughs> it in, in it, uh, it, it'll die, and a few minutes later to start back, and the speedometer don't work. You reckon uh. there may be a bad ground somewhere? Jesus, I don't know, man. I mean, with something that really? new, ah, there's so much in them. Uh, yeah, you could. Ah, what I mean, you got a newer battery in it? Is I know is a uh, is the battery old? No, Cable it's it's sport? a new. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I went through it. I even added an extra ground, you know, to the uh, negative side on the battery and put it on like uh, one of the motor mounts, you know, yeah. just to have an extra ground to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's too new for me, and I, yeah. you know, this, uh, ECM speed sensor in the in the chat here. You got people saying that the flux capacitor, uh, yeah, <laughs> not that. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, damn. Yeah, maybe someone in the chat has an idea, but I I have no clue. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I bought it here a while back, about a month ago, and uh, I mean it drives fine, you know. Other than the, you know, speed on don't work, and uh, you know, I've read a few things online about it, you know, and to, uh, to try, but I didn't know if you ever heard anything, you know, or ever encountered yeah. anything like it. Yeah. No, God willing, I never will. The kids, I wouldn't know what to do either. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, well. All right. Uh, good luck, man. 
Yeah, yeah I don't want to keep tied up, man, but it was real good talking to you. Yeah. Oh, good talking to you too, man. Take it easy. All right. All right. Have a good night. All right. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to doer stuff like that, I'm kind of a dinosaur. And uh, I just don't really uh, know anything about anything. I'm going to I'm gonna skip ahead here and get John in here real quick. Hey, oh God. Hey. <laughs> it's Did happening. I surprise you? Yeah. No, I wasn't ready. No oh, one wow. Ready. What's so up? The, this is John, Mad Scientist Garage. He helped me do the 4x4 van. Uh, helped. If anyone's watched that video, <laughs> I, I outsourced it all to JD. <laughs> well, yeah. Supervised. Yeah, well, it's a learning opportunity. I'm not lazy. I'm passing it on <laughs> to the next generation. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, what are you up to tonight? Well, I was supposed to be editing, and then I saw there was a, you know, this thing, and that sounds like more fun <laughs> to drink Guinness and not edit because it's hard. So It'd be like this really, really bad, like super dangerous idea I've had uh, of just letting anybody onto my YouTube channel that yeah. I I use to make a living with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, no. <laughs> Let's just let a bunch of Redditors loose on your channel and see how fast you can get demonetized. <laughs> that was so far, so good. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, I, <clears throat> I actually am um, calling you out. Oh. So I have this crappy A body that I like drug out of a swamp oh. in like rural Kansas, Missouri area. And it, it runs ish. At least it did until I broke it last fall. You have a crappy GTO. I want to race that rotten, okay. ugly GTO in Iowa. So if you get it oh. running and driving, the rotten GTO. Mm -hmm. I want oh, a piece yeah. of that thing. That's the lightest car you have. Well, you're gonna lose to that thing. That thing's got balls. <laughs> <laughs> you and your two barrels of fury. Yeah. Hey, it's still a goat. <laughs> that that two hundred. 265 horse low compression two barrel 400. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, we can do that. That'd be fun. I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably, if I live driving at home, <laughs> that's going to be the kicker. <laughs> Think of it this way if we blow it up or break it at the track, then you don't have to drive it home. This is true. But we, hey, the uh, new, uh, uh, Flying H drag strip down here, quarter mile, brand new drag strips opening this spring. Brand spanking mm -hmm. new. And we could ruin it for everybody. <laughs> I actually Forever. found it last leak. It's just the speedometer cable. <laughs> like, I know why it's puking now. So oh, well, good. I could pass tech if I have enough RTV mm. in time. I could pass tech if I have enough cash in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people doing their 60 foot sideways after you, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. All right, well, man. Thanks for letting me crash the party. I will, uh, I'll see you when I see you. I want a piece of that car. I feel like uh, I have a chance. Well, that's for sure. I wasn't going to let you sit in there until you got completely sloshed on Guinness by the time you actually got to be here. You know, you know this. You might have said something ridiculous, like we should race two really crappy cars on a sanctioned drag strip. Yeah, that but would thankfully be insane. That, that's stupid, really. Yeah, good so, thing you're <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have a good night, dude. Good to see you, dude. Right. Uh, always good to see John. Always good. Uh, Brian. Hey, how you doing, Dalton? What's up, man? Uh, I just wanted to show you my uh, my Pontiac and see what you thought of it. What you got? It's a uh, 70 Le Mans. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> I just put a uh, 455 in there. It's 30 over. I did the roller cam from Comp Cams. Uh, Very cool. I got the uh, the shaved door handles. I don't know if you can see this. Nice. Is that a post car? What's that? It's a post, isn't it? Yeah. Two-door post? Yes, it's a post car. That's a rare car. Uh, yeah, so they tell me it's, uh, I guess it's a little bit stiffer from what I understand. Yep. Um, I don't know. I, I have a little question. I have a 650, uh, CFM carburetor on here. How much more of a carburetor do you think I can handle? Oh man, the 455 and it, shit. I mean, the cam he got, roller cam. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, the smallest one of those they offer is pretty freaking healthy. Uh, so, I mean, I'd 750 at least, right? Uh, 850, you know? Right. That's what I'm going to go for that. I, 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 you know, I tried to uh, put a new metering rod in here and I went, I went up on the jets, but I think I could still squeak some more out of it. Oh, for sure. I mean, hell, the factory quadrajet was uh, like 870. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, so uh, it'll eat it. It'll eat it all day long. Okay. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching the channel. You got me. This thing was sitting for like seven years, and I've been watching you guys, you and Kevin and, and Vice Grip, and you guys got me uh, motivated to get back on this thing. And I'm uh, finally getting it back on the road, hopefully for this spring. Very cool. But it, uh, it's pretty healthy right now. I bet. Yeah, do it. <laughs> That's good, man. My neighbors are going to love that. Ah, well, screw them. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. That's great, man. I love the buckskin interior. That's my favorite. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well... Take it easy, buddy, and uh, yeah, right. go go big or go home on the carb. All right, thanks a lot. All right, later. See ya. All right. Well, that's a pretty car he's got there for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so we uh, are coming up. We're just over an hour here, and I, I actually have things to do. So I'm gonna fill out. Oh, Richard got back in at the end here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kill off the rest. That's bad phrasing. I'm going to move my way through the rest of these people, and, and then we're probably gonna we're probably gonna call it. Uh, so we got Ed. Hey Dalton, uh, long time listener, first time caller. Uh, <laughs> just uh, kind of just calling, kind of ask about uh, some projects got going on. I know you have that rusty Pontiac up in Iowa that my I was gonna ask about, but I guess it's gonna be. Taken down there soon. I saw you got some Corvettes recently too. Yeah, a whole pile. What's the plan with them? Anything to do? We're just going to let them kind of rust in the ground like before. <laughs> no, the collector's edition vet. Uh, that's for me, you know. Like, uh, yeah, the, I wanted one of those. So I'm actually, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go do brakes on that. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the uh, uh, other vet I just picked up today, we went and got that. Uh, it was just cheap. It was three grand for a complete car. I mean, and a whole bunch mm -hmm. of parts. Just go stick it in the back and and get it to run and drive. And my dad will do the body work and paint on that one. So, well, I mean, you know, every Corvette's a collector's edition. Just you have to have the right buyer for it. You know. Yeah, yeah. It could have been built on a Tuesday by Steve. You know, and that by makes Steve? it collect collectible. <laughs> or so, even William. Who knows? Could have been. Could have been. You never know. They All right. Know. Well. Thank you. You uh, you make some great stuff, and uh, I guess for people watching, buy some stuff on PullBartMerch.com. I hey, appreciate it, man. Take <laughs> Have a good easy. one. All right. All right. Well, next we got D Clan, and he's right. Check out PullBartMerch.com. He get one of these really cool Hawaiian uh, hats here. Uh, they are excellent. They're probably the greatest hat man has ever seen. So, let's. Uh, Let's do this, uh, D Clan. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. What's up, man? So, um, my dad has a 1970 Chevelle, right? Mm -hmm. It has the 402 because, you know, that's what I guess it is because GM. Um, and it has long tubes on it. So, the issue we're having is when it gets hot and it sits for a bit. You go to start it, it takes forever to start cranking. Because the starter, at least we're thinking, gets really hot. Yeah. And it just won't turn it. Okay. Uh, what what engine was it? I'm sorry, I missed that. The 402. Okay. Uh, you got a full-size starter on it? I believe so. Okay, you might try going to a mini starter, like a high torque starter, especially on like a higher compression engine like that. And those big blocks are notorious for heat soaking starters. Uh, if you put a put a mini starter on it, yeah, they, we got people in the chat gear reduction starter. 
you could save some money and use a vortex starter from like a late nineties Chevy truck, uh, oh, yeah, with a small block. That. Yeah. I use those all the time. Uh, they work really well. They're smaller and they put out more torque, but if you want to like make sure it's good to go, go with like a power master high torque mini starter. You can't go wrong. They're good stuff. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. And, um, also one more thing. Uh, it's, he also put a cam in it, and um, I think he has like an 850 on it now, which I think is way too big for what we do, because we really only just street drive the thing. So, do you have any recommendations for what size we could probably put on there? Uh, so, the thing is, an engine will only consume as much air as it can, right? So... Mm -hmm. Uh, even an 850 is okay, as long as the Venturis and the Jets are accordingly, and they're not going to be out of the box. Uh, so if you went with like a 750 out of the box, that's probably going to run pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, but, but when you get into things that are built, you're going to have to probably do a little tuning. Uh, so, you know, if you were into like a 750 Holly uh, double pumper, I mean, those are usually pretty dang good out of the box because they don't depend on a vacuum signal to work. So, uh, right. Yeah. I like them. Your fuel mileage will suck, but you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I not mean, the, it's a four hundred two. Yeah. It's not like it's going to win any contest for <laughs> fuel mileage. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, but, yeah, exactly. But okay. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. All right. You yeah, bet you have a good night, man. Yes. You too. All right. All right, next up we got Stan. Stan the man. What's up, Stan the man? Howdy, howdy. Um, so, weirdly enough, I found you. Um, weirdly enough, uh, sorry, said that twice. Uh, through, what was it, Roadkill. It was a few years ago now. Um, I just, I was watching one of the episodes on whatever website they're on now since they switched the from youtube i was mm -hmm. like who's this guy in his backyard just with this weird gto it's like okay i gotta watch this guy <laughs> yeah yeah so and you're I, a holy goat so you've been around a while then yeah, yeah very cool. well i i was watching one of the videos and you said something like uh what was it um Oh, uh, the the low uh, the low butt club, and I was like, it's cheap enough, so why not? I can throw a few bucks in. I'm not smoking anymore, so that helps. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. no, no issue with you smoking. I, it's your life, so yeah, you know. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, so I was talking with Jess about it, and it was a just a, a broad thing. Um. What is your thought of throwing like small diesel engines, like you know, a, say a small caterpillar, or like a tractor diesel or something, into like say an S10 or whatever? I think it'd be pretty cool, but man, that'd be a ton of work. Uh, well, yeah, but they would be. I mean, I see what you mean because that's kind of what they're doing now, right? With the Colorado, those little four cylinder diesels. Uh, <laughs> It'd be kind of neat, but I don't know because they don't rev high either. So no, the okay. like maybe twenty five hundred, three thousand at the very most. Yeah, that, so they're they're almost meant to run at a constant RPM in an application like that. So I don't know how that would uh, lend itself to a vehicle. I don't know. It'd be kind of fun if he had both laying around. I mean, you know, it'd be <laughs> cool to see. <laughs> It's kind of hard to find a non-rusted S10 around here in Virginia. I could find the S10 and be the other stuff. And be a hard one to find. Oh, you'd be surprised how many small Kubota or small Cummins diesels are around here. There's a ton of them. Really? We do. I know they use them to run the uh, oil pumps, you know, the Derricks. Uh, but out west of us, just a little ways, probably find something like that up industrial application. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know about uh, what was it, Edison Motors, the company up in Canada or whatever, uh -huh. doing the like hybrid thing. It gave me the idea of, you know, I don't know how much you're up on it, like of how um, 
They're doing like the one ton trucks. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they're they're doing electric vehicles, right? Or are they Yes. Yeah. Well the like the diesel locomotive style thing, but uh-huh. in trucks. Mm-hmm. I had the thought of putting say Kubota or whatever small diesel just to power the motor or the generator. Um in an S10 and then having HUD motors or at the axles or whatever in, in that. Yeah. That'd be pretty wild. It's definitely above my pay grade. That'd be a good <laughs> one for like uh, DeBoss Garage or somebody, you know? Yeah, and they're working with him on that. Oh, they are they? Okay. Yeah. yeah I, those I've, guys I've are been, smart. They are. I, I'm just like a shade tree mechanic uh, i i went to college for uh diesel tech but <clears throat> some family stuff came up so i i had to fall out of it but oh sorry <laughs> my, my camera. Uh, just my phone being weird um, there you go so I, I was in college for for diesel and i i love diesel i love old like my dad had a camaro he had a road runner uh the other i'm trying to remember but like those type of cars so i I, my heart still goes for the old muscle cars um just anything with a motor i'd love anything mechanical that's cool that's a good idea man if you can ever figure out how to uh, deal diesel over electric it'd be interesting to say the least so that'd be pretty cool uh thanks for talking with me man yeah no problem Thanks for stopping in. We'll uh, we'll see you and have a good night, man. Good night, man. All right, stand the man, right there. All right, now we've got Tally W, as in Tally Wacker. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I got that nickname on my second day working at the previous company I worked for, and then it stuck for Excellent. two years. <laughs> So uh, I actually wanted to ask you about something that pertains to that last job. Uh, I, I was a residential electrician until uh, January of this year, where the company I was working for went bankrupt. Um, and I don't know too much about the union because I was working for a small company that really I didn't want to screw over my boss that much, which people say, don't worry about screwing over your boss. But do you know if the uh, IBW does residential work or is that mostly just commercial? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do um, through contractors. Uh, I'm not IBW, but uh, I'm UAW. Uh, but, yeah, you, you could probably go to your local hall. You're, you're, uh, you have a card? Do you have a journeyman's card? Uh, no, I have not yet. I've only been doing this for two years, and I, I – of course, it's kind of hard to get in our job right now because uh, the housing market around here is not good. Oh, really? So, you can there's no that, one building houses. Take that residential electrical experience. Go to your local IBW and just take whatever they got. But uh, you know, you could you can move from residential to an industrial or commercial electric. No, I, I do not like no? industrial and commercial. So, oh come on, that's the gravy train, though. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> I know it's so much fun bending nineties. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> and the more on the uh, car side, I have a seventy-eight F one hundred. It's got the great amount of three custom options on it. Uh, one of them just being square headlights, mm. and uh, that I have a lot of work to do on that. The whole front clip's missing. I have the engine torn out of it. Uh, my brother was an idiot and basically broke every screw in the front of the truck, so that's nice. Okay, drywall screws fix that. <laughs> I got a whole box sitting over there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right on, man. Well, uh, good luck with that, and yep. uh, yeah, good luck with your project, and have a good night, yep. man. Good talking to you. Good, good luck. Uh, and, uh, good luck getting into the trade again. You know. Yeah, so uh, I've, I've been talking to my old boss because we're still in contact. We are we might be both going over to the same company that works around here, and uh, hopefully I can do that soon. So, right on. Well, all right. Well, good luck, man. thanks for talking good to night. me. And good night. Yeah. All right, we got Victor Mackin. 
Hello, Victor. Hello, What's from up, the brother? Land of little cars. Nice. How are you, brother? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Uh, it's a good day, man, and what a way to end it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to waste a bunch of your time. I just wanted to say hello. Thank you for all the help that you've given to our channel. Show you a little bit of a uh, little bit of diecast fun that we're doing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there uh, we got them hanging on the wall right here. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, functional histories right there. There they uh, grab one of those, Jess, if you would. Where are they? They're the custom made uh, diecast cars. No, not those. No. To the left. See the GTO? Oh, yeah. And the vet. And <laughs> oh, hey. All of it. Hey, hey. Yeah, see? I got one too. <laughs> yeah, you got the original man. That's the yeah. very first one that we did. Uh, we changed the card a little bit and uh, made a little more streamlined process. But uh, all the original information is still on the back, and we uh, we added the the logo oh, or yeah. the GTO on the back. But uh, we anyway, like I said, Johnny and I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping our channel out. Um, we love you guys, and the content's great. This is a really good idea, man. Uh, yeah, you know, and I just, I've never seen anybody do it, you know, and I granted, I don't have the luxury of like a radio program. They got that seven second delay. So I got to be real quick on the trigger finger here, but right. so far, so good. I mean, I think most of the people that watch this channel are great, and, you know, they're, they're good people. And I yeah. don't think it's ever going to be an issue, but well, uh, it's pretty cool. I like talking to people. So, yeah. Well, brother, like I said, didn't want to waste a bunch of your time. Just wanted to say hello. Uh, maybe throw a couple of folks over to our channel. Take a look. See if you like yeah. it. Functional history. So what they do basically is make 164 die cast cars custom, though. I mean, like I'm not not like spray paint, like complete custom. He's got a 3D printer. He does. I mean, they are as legit as legit. It's the holy goat, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, a bunch of holes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So functional histories is where you can see that at, and also you do work for people, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We do. Uh, we do custom commissions right now. Uh, I'm actually working on. I don't know if you may know the uh, the truck, but there's a certain C20 floating oh, wow. around out there uh, <laughs> that we're going to. Uh, we're actually going to put a light in the uh, engine compartment so that it shines a blue light out. Cool. So, yeah, we're doing uh, doing all kinds of stuff. But we've done we've done work for. Uh, uh, well, actually, this is this is going to be our pride and joy right here. I don't know if you ever catch any of the no name national stuff, but that is the Brat Fink. No, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty oh, cool looking. <laughs> you've got to check that one out, man. There's a serious uh, serious cult following for that car. But yeah, uh, yeah, we do uh, we do commissions. We do. You know, if you can get a hold of us on our uh, on our uh, YouTube page, uh, our emails on our uh, uh, community page or the about, about section. That's yeah. what it's called. Yep. So. Yeah, functional histories there, folks. All right, Vic. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the next couple people in, and then I'm gonna you know go to bed probably. Be safe, man. <laughs> Later. Have a good night. You too. Yeah, those guys are great. They made all kinds of cars. They made JD's car. They made the. Uh, the Merc scenario, they made uh, oh, got a just a pile of them, and they've been really starting. You know, uh, I kind of helped boost their channel a little bit to start with, and they've taken it and ran, and, and I like to see that. Chase, hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Just wanted to say uh, thanks for all the tips and tricks and learning that I've gotten the chem past couple years from you. I'm sorry that you think it's learning, but uh, <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> kind of just broke me out of my bubble i always thought i'd have to do everything just perfect it had to be nice and straight cuts and shiny and everything mm -hmm. but it's just you're sticking metal to metal it's just metal oh absolutely nuts and bolts mm -hmm. what's up uh, man well i was doing some research i don't know if that guy's still here with that uh dodge from way earlier with the starter issue but i remember something be. stupid about that um uh, Neutral safety switch, if it's automatic, and that's tied into the ignition, too. Yeah, he said it was clicking when he was turning the key, though, so I, it's something's getting to the starter, although the neutral safety switch could be putting too much resistance into it, not letting mm -hmm. enough get to it. Or yeah. if that seal's blown out and it's full of transmission fluid. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, because it's in the transmission. Yeah, it just bypass that. That's how you get around that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yep. Is that all you got, man? Yeah, just want to say. Oh, I'm glad you stopped in, bud. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. See ya. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, I don't remember the guy's name. I had that problem. I should. I want to say it was Paul. I'm pretty sure it was Paul. Anyway, uh, check your neutral safety switch. Easy enough to bypass around that. Josh. <laughs> Dude, Dalton. What's up? How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I got I got my headphones on, so there's no, like, delay and shit. Yeah, Dude, sounds I had no idea you were so computer savvy doing, like, online. I don't even know how to web. This is, like, I pornography. Know. This is what cam girls do. I didn't even know how to do this stuff. <laughs> but thanks, man. I love your channel. I'm, I'm just like everybody else here. I, I found you, like, I, the first video I saw was the Jag. Oh. It never gets old, dude. Never stop. <laughs> like, put it to bed for a little while, give it a rest, and then bring it back, and it's twice as funny. But never stop. <laughs> never stop. You got it, man. That and the we're going to lose the shop joke never gets old. Those two, no. if I can give you any advice, <laughs> never never stop doing those two jokes. I Absolutely. <laughs> what do you do to your hand? My hand, oh, I am covered in paint uh, oh, from yeah. uh, this T-bird I was working on. Tractor painted the floors in it and didn't wait long enough to start messing with it and got covered in tractor paint. It shows you how good it sticks. That was like three days ago. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you were like boxing, you know, uh, <laughs> fighting with somebody. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I'm so impressed with your, it's like your shop is like the grimiest most meth-headed, like, <laughs> so much just rusty crap and, like, just shoved over into the corners. It's like every uncle of every friend I had when I was a kid, like, their garage looked like that. <laughs> and, like, it's just the grimiest shit on YouTube, man. I love it. I, Absolutely. I pride myself in that fact. <laughs> yeah, you can just clean it up. Like, I do that. I look at, like, piles of clutter, and I want to clean it up. I want to make it all fresh and straight and you know dust god i hate dust <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's uh, something to be old there's beauty there's beauty there man beauty all right man well hey you have a good night buddy all right yeah you too man good to talk uh, to you later really good talking. It. you bet good times good times all right, so Richard is back. We couldn't hear Richard earlier. We're going to try Richard again. Richard. Are, are we working now? Yeah, we're working now. How you doing? Hey, <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good. I'm all right. Hey, I want to thank you and Jess and for putting this together. This is fantastic. Oh, uh, uh, good. I'm glad you like it. I think it's great. Hey, I got, got a real quick question for you. Summer's What's coming, up? and I was wondering if you were... Uh, Going to be doing some trips out west or out east or gallivanting with the goat like you did last year. Yeah, uh, so power tour for sure. Uh, that's a certainty, uh, and that is that's what Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, or Indiana, something like that. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be out there in June. Uh, right after that, I got to go to Wyoming. I got to go visit an uncle, but might as well make a video out of it. Uh, to go drive to Wyoming up to the ranch there. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, and then I'd really like to go to duct tape drags again. It's probably my favorite event, honestly. Uh, yeah. Over, out of all of them, it's just, it's like the coolest thing, you know? Uh, but, uh, that's kind of depending on work, you know, time, how much time I got, but, but yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like to get out there again. Well, I, I know, I, I totally enjoyed what was it the five hour video? <laughs> oh, you yeah, okay? So yeah, I I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. So just to <laughs> clarify what you're talking, what you're referencing, uh, uh, if you remember, if you're a low buck club member, if you remember the uh, the road trip to Arizona to the duct tape drags in the Holy Goat, and Jess and JD and Cody and his Firebird, I 
uploaded raw five over five hours of raw footage of that road trip for members. So if you want to see the every single thing I filmed, you could see it if you're a low buck club member for 99 cents a month. Uh, I best entertainment there is for the money. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That was a fun one to put together because I was just, you know, when you edit video, you just like click and drag things. And I just clicked the whole thing and dumped it down and clicked export done and walked away. <laughs> that was an easy one to do. <laughs> well, well, if you ever get the urge, we're about a stone's throw away from the Freedom Factory here. Florida. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> It could be like going to the races with uh, Kevin. We have a, a Class C motorhome here you can crash in. Hell yeah. <laughs> if you ever get down this way, give us a yell. I'd but, love uh, to. Hey, I won't hold you long. Love the love the vids. I'm glad you you do what you do. You're. I would say if you're not one of the top, you're one of the better ones here. Well, we'll go with the top. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> it, it's, Thanks. It's not like some of the people that have really – how can I say it politely, uh, got carried away with themselves. And I think you yeah, know what I mean. I do. So uh, uh, keep up the good work. I think JD is going to grow up to be one heck of a painter, mechanic, just like his dad. And there again, your paint skills with tractor paint is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Well, so, hey, we'll, we'll let you go to get some shut eye. I'm also a retired electrician, so... Every time you mention about your journeyman and going for that, uh, it just adds another another piece to the video. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, I appreciate you. You have a good night and uh, enjoy Florida. I, I wish I was there. <laughs> well, hey, we're, we're 11 miles from the beach. Come on down. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love the beach. I haven't been in years. Uh, <laughs> you have a good uh, one. Thanks. All right. Me. Later, man. I'm going to take like two more because some people piled in here, but then I, I really got to, I really got to go, but this has been too much fun. We're going to take winter here. Oh, Hey, Hey, how are you doing? How you doing, man? What's up? I'm doing good. Uh, I say hello from the depths of the Appalachian mountains in Kentucky. Oh, wow. Nice. nice. I came here to let you know this crazy project I got going on. All right. 83 Recaro Firebird. Ricaro. I'm going to keep okay. the 305 and I'm going to try to twin turbo it, but I'm going to try to see if I can hide it up in behind the uh, rear bumper or something. Remote turbo? Yeah. Yeah, that's doable. If it blows up, I'm going to be sure to record it though. Oh, it will. So, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely that, that 305 is, uh, those are not forged internals in those. It's, it's going to die. But that's okay because it's you can just replace fun. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what, find one for 200 bucks in someone's backyard? Yeah, yeah, just go to grab you another one. They're they're, they're, they're disposable at that point, right? But, oh, yeah. Cool idea, man. I'm going to let you go because I'm going to try to pop right. through a couple more here. But, hey, thanks for coming in. Yeah, you take care. Later, bud. Snowman's. Hello. What you got, Snowman? <laughs> uh, nothing over here. Um, hello from over the seas. Oh, yes. What part? Like that. The upside uh, down England. part? Oh, okay. No, not, not this part. Uh, this part. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can smoke your uh, your cigarette, but you can't call oh, it what no. you call it. <laughs> um, no, I've already learned that one. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I'm in England at the moment. I'm moving to America, hopefully this year. And oh, wow. I've already got a project out over there. Cool. What you got? <laughs> Four door seventy one Malibu. Hell yeah. Yeah. So straight six. I traded it for a Mustang I blew up. <laughs> okay. Don't know how. I got a O five V six just to run around there and I blew it up, put on Facebook Marketplace <laughs> and some guy was like, Hey, um, my kid really likes some cars. Do you want to trade? I was like, yes, immediately. <laughs> Very cool. So, Very yeah, cool. I'm just going to need to get that running. It hasn't been on the road since 98. I'm technically the second owner. And it's just green everywhere. Like green oh. interior. Yeah. Straight six. 
I've got it running once and going around the car park, but that's it. Uh, it'll run, though. Those things are basically indestructible. So it, yeah, it's, it's probably favorite. Power Glide, or is it a Turbo 350 in that? Three no, speed or two? I think last time I checked, it was actually a Power Glide. I, yeah. I didn't really look under it. I just, oh, it's got no rust. Okay, cool. <laughs> Excellent. That's the way to do it. Yeah, those things yeah. are indestructible, though. You got this. Uh, congrats on moving to the land of the better. I mean, uh, America. But oh, no, uh, uh, no, I definitely think it's the land of the better. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with um, my granddad making drag cars, so it's always been I've been around American stuff. But yeah, I've dude. never been able to buy something over here because it's all too pricey. Yeah. All right, man. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm man. gonna get I'm gonna get one more here, and then we're gonna have to call it. But hey, thanks for coming in, dude. No worries, man. Thanks for having us. Later. All right, Eric, you're gonna do it for tonight. I hate to, I hate to. They got like five more people here. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Trust me. What you got, Eric? I like it. I like it. Okay. So, wed, bed, or dead? Are you familiar with this question? Yes. Okay. Where is this going? Okay. <laughs> Hear <okay>. me out. <laughs> Magnum five hundreds, Keystone Classics, Steelys. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wed the Keystone Classics. I'm going to dead the Magnum 500s. Ooh. And what's the other one? <laughs> wed Steelies. Wed. Yeah. 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 Then I'm going to go with the Steelies. I, I, I agree with the wed and the Steelies. That's, uh, yeah, but dead Magnum 500s, you, you, you're breaking my heart. I I like them. They're okay. It's just they're on everything, you know. I, I had them on my Torino, but you know they're, and they're like good. Six nine Charger, or, you know, and, and Phoenix or and like, Fords, everything. Yeah, everything and, gorgeous. And, yeah, just all the good ones. Yeah, but <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I I don't hate any of those though, so that's a tough one. But I don't know. Because I like all of them, really. I mean, the Magnums are uh, probably the best-looking factory wheel. Toss-up with the Pontiac Rally. Touche. Yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, that was an interesting question. Uh, no, I appreciate what you do, man. Y'all take Even care. Even though it's kind of scared the hell out of me. but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I'll see Cheers. you. Cheers. Later. All right. Well, sorry for anybody waiting, but I... I've been doing it for an hour and 37 minutes now, and that was a lot of fun. And I like to, you know, be able to interact with you guys. And that's, that's the way to do it. Thank you, Jess, for screening them yeah. in the comments there. So the people that are in right now, yeah. next time we do it, just tell, make sure you say that you were one of the last ones in, you know, and then we'll we'll get you in as soon as we can the next time we do it. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I, I got some work to do and some sleep to do. Oh, boy. See you guys next time on Pole Bar Garage. <laughs>